Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of Option Pit, and this is our Option Pit Frequently Asked Questions series. Uh, welcome back. Uh, it's great to see everybody. Hey, I am doing a webinar uh, uh, Thursday, November 7th, 2019. Go to optionpit.com slash bets to get yourself registered. Please go, go ahead. So um, going to be at night. Totally worth your time. Optionpit.com slash bets. Uh, speaking of betting, um, today I'm going to talk about when to sell an option. And of course, I'm going to bring our theme back to Las Vegas. So uh, a lot of people like to think that when you sell options, you are the house. You're like being the Vegas casino. Not true, right? The Vegas casino is really the market maker who's making the bid and ask on both sides, right? That's really what a casino does. A casino is taking the other side of all kinds of sports bets and, and you know, how long is the national anthem going to be at, uh, at the Super Bowl? Who's going to win the Oscars? Uh, they're taking the sides of both bets. Um, even at the table, right, they're not just taking a betting against you, they're betting on themselves. So, um, really, what I would say is selling options is very much like taking – the under, uh, taking the home team, giving points. It is, uh, you know, taking the, uh, what is supposed to be um, the, the more likely outcome. Uh, that said, it's not always the more likely outcome. Um, so let's take a look at, at something like, uh, oh, Apple. All right. So if I buy a call in Apple, all right, so let's go to Apple December options. Apple is trading, as you can see, about 256.70. So if I buy an Apple 260 call in December, I, I'm, I pay $5.40, I am betting that Apple is not only gonna be above $260, by the end of by December 20th, that it'll actually be above $265.40. So I'm not I'm betting that Apple is going to make a move. When I buy an option, I'm making a bet that something will happen. So uh, that is very similar to taking the over, right? I'm making a bet that there will be more points than 42. If I sell that call. If I sell the 260 call uh, at $5.40, what I'm really doing is making a bet that something won't happen. I am selling that 260 call at $5.40. I'm betting that Apple won't be up above 265.40. So that's very similar to saying, hey, the points. I'm willing to bet that this game will score fewer than 42. So why does selling options seem better and seem easier? Well, you're starting theoretically at a place where you've already won. Just like in a football game, if the over-under is 42, how many points does the, game, does the game begin with? Right, zero. So you're only betting that so, so much scoring won't happen. Almost seems easier. Just like Apple is, in my example here, is 256.60. I'm betting that it, it can't rally $9. That seems like an easier place to go than that it will move $9. Does that make sense? It's not necessarily easier, but it, it can seem easier. And that's one of the things that I think draws a lot of people to option selling. So obviously, most people don't like to sell calls. They like to sell puts. Why? Well, most traders are used to being long. And when I sell puts, I'm getting long. So when I sell an Apple $255 put, 
I can collect $6.40 right there. So what I'm saying is I think Apple is going to be above $255, but not by $6.40. Or if it falls below $255, it will be by less than $6.40. Again, I'm thinking that something won't happen not something that will, which is what draws people into put selling. And um, that is really why we sell and how one sells options. Now, the next question is, Mark, when do I know whether or not I should sell an option or buy an option? Aha. Well, what I would say first, watch my implied volatility frequently asked question from last week. And then two, stay tuned for, for next week when I describe when I'm looking to sell an, FA, uh, sell an option. And by the way, if you're saying, well, Mark, I want to get ahead of this, on this YouTube channel, you can look up my webinar from a few months back called Using Options to Trade Direction. It's 45 minutes. It's worth your time. And I walk through in some real detail when to buy and when to sell. All right, everybody, I hope you have a great day and a great week. You got questions, email me, marketoptionpit.com, call me at 8trade01. And again, please make sure you check out that webinar, optionpit.com slash bets. Uh, like and subscribe to this channel, share the video, leave me a comment, ask me a question, and I will answer. Have a good one.